first of all, this computer is only to be used for E40. Mm -hmm. You don't go on the internet or nothing because you, you could get virus or you could damage it. See that little icon here? Mm -hmm. That's the E40 design oh, center. Okay. What are you doing? Recording? <laughs> okay. See this icon here, Joanna? That's the E40 design center. When you turn the computer on, right. right, you click on this, that opens up the program. See, Plant Cat. Actually, I'm gonna unplug this. This is a, it's called a Thunderbolt attachment for the scanner, right? When you first turn on the computer, this should be attached. And then when you're ready to scan, that's when you plug it in, okay? It's weird the way the system is. If you want to add a new patient, you, you add plus. This is the patients that we've already had scanners, right? If you're starting a new case, you press plus, and then you put the patient's name, right? Let's say I want to add somebody, for example. I'll put the patient's name, Joe Blow, then press enter, right? If you want to delete somebody, press that. But we're not going to add anybody, so I'm going to go to... Oh, no. Cannot create patient. Okay, never mind. Mm. Let me open it again. So that lady we did the what's her name, Miss Luhan. Mm -hmm. First of all, when you use the scanner, you always the tip of the scanner should start from the distal. You start. You always scan the tooth in the back and the tooth in front of the prep. You only need one teeth on either side. You don't have to scan the whole arch. So if I'm prepping number 30, I only need the scan of the neighboring teeth, 29 and 31. You always scan the prep, the opposing teeth that come over these three. So if you're mm -hmm. scanning, let's say I'm prepping number 30, right? Mm -hmm. When you're scanning the prep, you put your scanner on the top, you come from 31 to 29, you start from the occlusal for surface. Then you tilt it, you have to capture what it is, it's a digital imaging, right? So you press your scanner on the top, scan, scan, scan. When you come to 29, then you roll over, you get the lingual, roll over, get the buckle. And it'll show you if you're missing data. What it does, it takes a digital image of the tooth, then it creates a digital model. Once you scan the prep, then the teeth that superimpose on those three teeth would be three, four, and five, see? You scan the opposing, and then you have to scan the bite. That's all you do. It'll guide you to what areas to scan? Yeah, I'll show you. So like Miss, Miss Luhan right now, Mary Hill, right? So we created, let's say I put her name in there, right? It says, and, and, and I already clicked this tooth, because I already input the data. If you wanted to start a new restoration, you put click this one. But, and then I, if I already, then it'll bring you to this page. Then you select, it's gonna be a crown, inlay, on it, whatever it is. I had already selected tooth number 31, right? Then you pick what library. Library, they have a different shape of the teeth that you can, the computer will design that crown shape for you. And then the material is those little blocks, right? If it's an anterior teeth, you want high translucency, low translucency is your back teeth. And then you pick, select your shade, right? So we did this. See, they have tabs. We're in a setup tab. Then you have the scan tab. After you scan it, then you go to the margin. You have to trim your, mark your margin, and then you start designing. And then you mill at the end. See, it's a step-by-step. -step. Mm -hmm. This is home if you want to go back to your main menu. So we go to the scan tab right now, because I've already entered the data. We've got the patient's name. It's going to be a crown on 31. It's going to be a library A tooth form, and we're going to use an Emacs block, and it's going to be a shade A2. So we're going to go to the scan tab, right? Here are the icons. You have a pre-op model, prep model. This is a opposing. See, you just click on everything. Buckle is when you do the bite. So when you do a pre-op, if the tooth is in perfect shape, you have the option of using the patient's own tooth for the computer to use as a replica to design the crown or use a library. If the tooth has its own shape, then you can do a pre-op scan. And then you tell the computer to use that shape to design the crown. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go to, let's say, I'm going to go to the prep because the tooth is already prepped. So I skip that step, then I plug my scanner. 
and you got to be very careful this is an ex this is like twenty thousand dollars so you don't bang it around don't drop it like that so you always hold it like this Almost right like a pen. yeah or whichever way but they have videos i want you guys to watch the videos so you press the power button and you when you come in the mouth, you have to make sure that little isolation that we have with the white thing, the suction, keeps the tongue out of the way. It takes the moisture out of the mouth because there's a mirror here, see? There's a mirror, if it fogs it up, then it's hard to capture the image. And then if you're too, you wanna be directly right touching the tooth. If you're too far away, it doesn't read the image, right? If you're too far back, you could also use this corner to push the tongue out and capture this. So I'll show you the modality before I turn the scan on. So when I first start, before you turn it on, you press it on the tooth, right? And you gotta kind of make sure the tongue is not in the way. Let's say you press it on the tooth and then you turn it on. As you turn it on and you, there's a speed that you come down to capture and you look in the monitor, you'll see the picture of the mouth. And then as you capture the image, if, you, if you're too far away, it gives you an alert, you, you, it turns orange. That means you're not capturing the image, you have to go back. Let's say you come back and you miss it. You have to go to the same spot that you were last for the scanner to start acting again. That way it starts capturing images. So we're gonna start scanning. We're in the scan mode, I just turn it on, watch. Did you plug? It's already plugged in. You can hear the agent, you see how it's capturing? See how fast it does? Mm -hmm. You hear the beep? Mm -hmm. What's the beep mean? It tells you that it's scanning. See, I didn't, I missed the back of uh, 31, see? Now once I capture the image and I tilt it to the right, and you get the buckle, see how it's capturing the image? Mm -hmm. And I go back over the occlusal, do the lingual. Then once you're done, you can see what you're doing here. See where the orange, the color is. See, I just press this and it stops. See how nice it did that? Mm -hmm. Then when you're in this mode, you press generate model, or you can press M, enter. What that does, it generates a model from the digital image you captured. See what it did? Man, that was nice, I like the new software. Then you can, Left, this click here, the right click here, press it down and hold it, you can see different 3D images. Now right here, you see how there's data missing? You can zoom it in like that with the mouse, see? See how there's, it doesn't look like a tooth? That shows that when, you, when I scanned it, I didn't capture enough data. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. See how there's no tooth here? The problem with this is when you're designing crown, if you don't have the proper amount of the right app, the application of the data, then the software doesn't know where your contact is going to be, mm -hmm. right? So one way to check to see if you have data, it's called data density, density of the data. You click on this icon, it shows you where, where the blue is where you missed the data, see? Mm -hmm. So that means I have to go back and capture this data, otherwise when I'm in the design phase, your crown is going to be jacked up because the computer doesn't know when it's designing, so I know that I have to go back I only care about these two teeth. I don't really care about here. I need, I care about my contact and occlusal surface, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanna make sure that, I, and I missed a little bit on the prep. So what you do, when you're in this mode, right? So I know I need to capture the mesial of number 31 and this though, because I missed the data. So how you do this, when you're, you go back to the mouth, this is where it gets tricky because if the patient has a, then you have to kind of tilt the head or tilt it this way, so you want to capture this data. Did you go and click that? I didn't touch it. You didn't do anything? No, no, so one, and then I, I just go back to the map. Just press this. Yeah. Oh, there you go, see? Now, yeah, I'm gonna tilt. See how I'm trying to capture the mesial where I'm missing the data. Sometimes you can go side to side. See, I'm trying to go get the mesial of number 31 and it actually gets tricky in the mouth dryness um, has a lot to do with it yeah you want to make sure it's dry because if you have if it's wet see how I missed the data see how I missed where I am 
So I need to go look at the picture, I lost it. So I have to go back to the same two teeth to, for it to start, see it starts working again. I'm gonna get the distal, and there's, they have videos on how to capture the data or your, your data density. See, I'm getting the distal of number 29 right now, you see it? Now I'm gonna go see if I can capture, you swing it left and right. Can we try? Yeah, as soon as I, See how you roll it? I'm trying to get the mesial of... 31? Yeah. See, I missed it. So if I miss it, it, it the sound is nice. This is a new thing they added to the software. It mm -hmm. tells you you're missing this. Damn, it's hard. And then you can have the patient to move a little bit. But this dude has got a small mouth. Okay, let's say I got it. And then when you're done, you just press. Did I shut it off? Oh shit. Okay. Now, generate model again. You can bleep that. Yeah, I can bleep that too. Oh, I do that. <laughs> oh yeah, I wait on candid camera. Oh, there's, there's videos on YouTube. <laughs> no, but then you won't have to ever do this again. Mm -hmm. Well, there's YouTube to have a lot of videos, but what I'm showing you. <laughs> Then you look at you click on this to see if you captured all the information. Pretty good. See, I got most of my contact here, and I got that pretty good. So that's good. Then I, you have whatever icon you click on in order to go to the next step. You have to unclick it. I have a question. Go back and rotate your model again to the distal twenty nine. You just want the area that the tooth is going to contact exactly. with where you floss, right? Yeah. Okay. Because you want to be. So able you don't to... worry about the base. Of and the you gum. see, I have a lot of excess material here, right? This is a lot of junk. So I want to get rid of this junk when I mount my model. So I unclick this, right? See, there's an eraser here. See that eraser? Mm -hmm. And you can use this wheel here to zoom in and zoom out. See that? It's pretty cool, huh? So I want to use this data. I want to get rid of this junk. So I press this eraser, and then I erase all the unnecessary. You want to make sure you don't erase your. See, I don't need other teeth. I'm gonna repeat it again after so that I can learn to, and then everybody. See, you just erase all this unnecessary information. The reason you want to get this gunk out, it's important because when you mount the case. Okay, once you're done with erasing, you just unclick this again. Generate model. See, I have a lot of excess data here. That's why I got all the scratches, right? Mm -hmm. I right, see, I got a nice model. Now, now I go go to the opposing tooth. So what I told them, Heather, when you start mm -hmm. scanning, you always start from the distal. Now the opposing, and this kid is number 31. So I don't go like this. The tip always starts from the distal. So the patient is laying down, right? Upside down, so you start on number I'm gonna get three, four, and five, right? So you press it on the number three. Now you gotta care about, on the opposing, you always care about the teeth that comes into contact. You don't really care about the gum line or the facial. If you get the facial, it's better. So you start on number three, and then you press on. See how it's capturing? The green that's telling you that you're capturing either that. And then you roll it to the facial. You want to get a little bit of the gum line. The reason you want to get a little bit of the gum line, you need that information so when you mount the case for the patient's bite. Then you roll back, get a little lingo, and come back towards. Then when you're done, stop. Nice, see? Then you click generate model. And this is way nicer. But I have a lot of more information that I don't need because I don't need these extra teeth. You gotta wait till it's generating a model. So you generate the model, then I don't need additional data, so I erase the teeth that I don't need. It makes your mouth a 